again for this uh, gathering and for this lovely lunch. Um, <coughs> now, uh, I'm probably the only prime minister of academic background rather than a political background over the past uh, 32 years, uh, which is when we had our new constitution and uh, uh, probably in the history of Lebanon. This is why my talk is from an educational perspective. It's entitled Promoting a Culture of Tolerance and Peace Through Higher Education and Generative AI. <coughs> So in the complex landscape of the 21st century, global challenges related to tolerance, intolerance, prejudice, and conflicts persistently threaten social cohesion and progress. Societies worldwide grapple with division, divisive divisions based on ethnicity, religion, race, gender, and identity, <coughs> resulting in discrimination, hatred, and violence. This presentation explores the imperative of innovation, innovative solutions to address these challenges and cultivate a more harmonious and inclusive world. Education stands as a potent instrument for shaping attitudes with higher education institutions uniquely positioned to nurture empathy, critical thinking, and open-mindedness. Through the exchange of ideas, exposure to diverse perspectives, and interdisciplinary study, higher education can foster understanding and respect by promoting diversity, embracing inclusivity, and facilitating dialogue, universities can shape individuals who break down barriers and embrace diversity with empathy. So this presentation also delves into the integration of generative AI in higher education, exploring its potential to enhance efforts towards a more compassionate and harmonious global society. <coughs> education has long been recognized as a powerful tool for shaping the minds and attitudes of individuals. It plays a pivotal role in promoting empathy, critical thinking, and open-mindedness, which are indispensable qualities in developing a culture of tolerance and peace. Higher education institutions, in particular, have a unique responsibility in nurturing the intellectual and emotional growth of future generations, equipping them with the knowledge and skills necessary to navigate the complexities of a diverse and increasingly interconnected world. By providing an environment that encourages the exchange of ideas, exposure to diverse perspectives, and critical engagement with various global issues, higher education can foster a sense of understanding and respect for others. When students encounter different cultures, beliefs, and values during their educational journey, they become more empathetic and better equipped to challenge their own assumptions and biases. <coughs> Moreover, higher education offers opportunities for interdisciplinary study, enabling students to explore the complexities of global challenges through multiple lenses. Integrating subjects like history, sociology, psychology, philosophy, and cultural studies into the curriculum helps students understand the historical content and the socio-cultural factors that contribute to intolerance and conflict. <coughs> An open and inclusive campus environment also plays a crucial role in shaping tolerant and peace-oriented individuals. By actively promoting diversity, universities can create spaces where individuals from various backgrounds feel welcome and respected. This can be more easily realized through an international virtual university that attracts students from across the globe. When students from different cultures and experiences interact, they gain a deeper appreciation for the richness of human diversity, breaking down stereotypes and reducing the fear of the unknown. To create a holistic education that fosters students' social, emotional, cognitive, and academic development, school systems must reinvent their curriculum. <coughs> Moving away from traditional systems focused on standardized testing is essential, as teaching to the average has proven ineffective. Instead, meeting students at their individual levels enables them to become better thinkers and problem solvers. Expanding access to quality STEM education is equally vital, particularly in developing countries and among girls and young women. This expansion helps cultivate a larger pool of global innovators, increasing <coughs> our chances of finding solutions to significant issues like transitioning the global population to clean energy, preserving the world's natural resources, and protecting delicate ecosystems. 
Dialogue plays a crucial role in fostering peace, security, and development. Intercultural dialogue, is in particular, facilitates communication and understanding among groups from diverse cultures. Violent extremism often arises from distorted interpretations of culture, fueled by hatred and ignorance, posing a significant threat to the foundation of our societies and weakening collaboration. According to the Global Peace Index 2022, there has been a worrisome 17% increase in violent extremism attacks in 2021. AI, or artificial intelligence, is disrupting the workplace. As businesses adopt new AI technologies designed to boost productivity, the World Economic Forum's Future of Jobs report in 2023 found three quarters of companies expect to adopt AI and half of these organizations expect AI to increase job growth. Employ <coughs> employers estimate that 44% of workers' skills will be disrupted in the next five years. In fact, businesses expect big data and AI to drive job growth, and 69 million jobs will be created in the next five years driven by new technologies. Needless to say, all of this rapid change in business, in businesses and jobs will have a ripple effect on the type of higher education students should receive in order to address these challenges in the workplace. Generative AI refers to a subset of artificial intelligence technologies that are designed to create or generate content autonomously, often in the form of text, images, or videos. In the context of peace building, generative AI holds significant potential due to its applications in enhancing communication and reducing misunderstanding. I have several examples in my paper, um, but uh, I will not uh, mention them in detail. Uh, some examples include in language translation and interpretation, in cultural sensitivity training, in automated medi mediation and conflict resolution, as well as in virtual peace building initiatives. <coughs> So education is the key to unlocking opportunities, benefiting individuals as they acquire valuable knowledge and skills as future generations push the boundaries of innovation and productivity. However, our current education system falls short in preparing for the demands of tomorrow's world. With over 33,000 universities globally, today's education system is not designed for tomorrow's world. And, uh, be willing to transform it for a digital world. Current and future generations will grow up in a digital society with an estimated 70% of new value created in the economy over the next decade based on digitally enabled business models. So higher education plays a pivotal role in nurturing tolerance by integrating various elements into its framework. In terms of curriculum and teaching methods, institutions can include courses and workshops that foster intercultural understanding, encouraging students to explore diverse cultures, histories, and, perspective, and perspectives. By promoting open dialogue and discussions, students can develop empathy and genuine appreciation for diversity. Utilizing AI in higher education to promote peace holds tremendous potential for fostering collaboration and understanding among diverse communities. Two fundamental aspects of this integration involve cooperation endeavors between AI researchers and educators and the creation of AI-driven tools to facilitate cross-cultural exchanges and dialogues. Again, I have several examples of that. I'll just uh, mention that uh, there's collaborative projects between AI researchers and educators as well as AI-driven tools for cross-cultural exchanges and dialogue. So by embracing collaborative projects between AI researchers and educators and harnessing AI-driven tools for cross-cultural exchanges, higher education institutions can establish an inclusive and supportive environment that promotes peace through improved communication, understanding, and appreciation of cultural diversity. There are several examples of universities and organizations that have utilized AI for peace building, it's in my paper, which I can send to anyone who wants. I'll just mention an example, Stanford University, AI for Syrian refugees. Stanford University's Immigration Policy Lab collaborated with the UNHCR to develop an AI-driven tool called IRIS, Integrated Refugee Information and Services. This tool leveraged natural language processing 
and machine learning algorithms to process and analyze asylum applications of Syrian refugees in Jordan. By automating document analysis, the system expedited the application review process, providing faster access to essential services and resources for refugees. So such a case study plus others illustrate the potential of AI in peace building, encompassing early warning systems, refugee empowerment, and empathy promotion. They underscore how responsible and ethical implementation of AI technology technologies can significantly contribute to fostering, understanding, mitigating conflicts, and promoting lasting peace in diverse contexts. In conclusion, the demand for tertiary education will rise exponentially over the coming decade, which can only be met by an exponential growth of virtual universities that provide online undergraduate as well as graduate education. The liberal arts model forms the bedrock of quality higher education and serves as the foundation for entrepreneurship and economic growth. The breadth of knowledge, what's the, what the universities refer to as general education or the soft skills if you like, is just as important if not more important in creating leaders as the uh, subject matter expertise. International virtual universities will attract students from across the globe with diverse cultures and experiences, which will allow them to gain a deeper appreciation for human diversity. In an era marked by profound complexities and divisions, higher education emerges as a beacon of hope for fostering, fostering tolerance and peace. Its role in promoting empathy, critical thinking, and inclusivity cannot be overstated. As the world grapples with intolerance and conflict, higher education institutions hold the power to shape generations of global citizens who appreciate diversity and approach differences with understanding. Through dynamic curricula, intentional uh, virtual uh, campus environments, and inclusive dialogue, higher education can sow the seeds of unity and compassion. The, con the convergence of generative AI with education holds the promise of enhancing these efforts, offering new tools for cross-cultural understanding and innovative ways to address societal changes. By embracing these transformative approaches, higher education can contribute substantially to the creation of a more harmonious and compassionate global society, where differences are celebrated and peace is pursued with determination. Thank you.